Alright, people. Master Boris here. Coming out with you with a very uh, serious video. A lot of stuff I want to talk about here in this video. I'm going to try to not make this video too long. Uh, I just want to talk about some different stuff that's revolving around the world and, you know, stuff about me that you should know about and, you know, a lot of things because, you know, and, you know, things are that's are my opinion and things that I know that are facts. So, with that being said, just bear with me. This will kind of start off a little slow. Um, because I'm kind of doing two things at once. I'm over here rendering this freaking video of this and North Star playthrough, and I'm watching the final round stream. So I'm kind of going to be like dibble and dabble and stuff, but yeah. Um, want to start off with the fighting game community since this is coming to mind and, you know, watching the final round stream and all. Because. Tech Attack Tournament 2 teams is going on right now. But yeah, it, it, it's great. But anyway, let's start off as a fighting game community as a whole because other things I'm going to be talking about during this video too because, you know, I have different outlooks in things in life. And I want y'all to get to know about me a little bit more. But yeah, starting off with the fighting game community, um, great community like it you know I enjoy it I enjoy the hype and tournaments and stuff especially in the past when I was like heavily into it you know as in was it really called you know FGC you know but I was in like in the arcade scene where playing you know Tekken 3 and all that and all that stuff and playing other games because you know that's what I did. That's what I like doing. I enjoy doing that, man. I like playing video games, especially fighting games. I don't just play fighting games. But, you know, I play, you know, RPGs, shooters, and all that much. But y'all knew that. But, yeah. That being said, um, fighting game community as a whole, the all niners changed the game, man. They did. I mean, when Street Fighter 4 came out, you know, I knew... It, it was gonna be big because it's Street Fighter, man. And the problem what I have with it, the FGC, is that the fight get. Let's just say this. If let's just say there was no Street Fighter at all, everybody got tired of it. Everybody, what? Well, let's just say. Let's just say this. Scratch that. Let's just say this. Street Fighter Four never came out do you think tournaments will be big as it is now since you know Street Fighter 4 did came out with the updates with the silly updates and tell you the truth like people I didn't even like Street Fighter 4 that much I played it because everybody else played it because it, it was hot especially Super Street Fighter 4 and I was in that bandwagon I was a bandwagon bitch <laughs> Which the video I came up with, band, Bandwagon Bitches, which I'm not even going to discuss that again. Y'all should know what that is. If you ain't seen the video, it's on my channel. But yeah, um, yeah, Street Fighter 4, I don't even like it that much. Um, it, it's okay game. I play better Street Fighter. I never really was a Street Fighter fan. The only Street Fighter game that I really liked it was Street Fighter Alpha Series and Street Fighter EX. So, but yeah, that would that being said, let's say um, you know, Street Fighter Four never came out. Do you think they would have like you know major tournaments like this, like they do now? You know, having without Street Fighter Four, no. Nobody will really go at the tournaments that much anyway, because, you know, Street Fighter, Capcom fighters, really, in general, especially Marvel, it brings out the most money, the most pot, because a lot of people enjoy playing it. That's what they do. Because, like I said, man, Capcom, especially in these fighting games today, is catering to the casuals and scrubs, and they could just button mash and do whatever, 
and, and just win, especially for Marvel. Pop in X Factor, you sweating, and <laughs> you 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 win. You know, if you don't drop your combos, you know, you straight. You know what I'm saying? Cap Capcom, it's that factor where nowadays it gives scrubs hope. This hope and wishing thing. And it comes and it comes and it comes and they get lucky and then they win. You know, not trying to bash Capcom Fighter, Street Fighter 4, Marvel, but like I said, I don't really like those games. But it, it's the truth if you think about it, man. If if it wasn't that deep into it, nobody didn't really play Third Strike when it first came out. The only reason why people gave crap flack about, uh, you know, Third Strike was because of that Justin Long and Daigo video. That's why people wanted to play it because they was like, "Well, I could do that parry too." Find out you couldn't, and then they stopped playing it. Um, I didn't really like Third Strike like that when it first came out because I was still playing, you know, Alpha 3 competitively and other games like Bloody War 2, Fighters Mega Mix, Rival Schools, Tekken 3, Tekken Tag 1, you know, and a lot more games that I play competitively in tournaments than I won. But yeah, I'm getting off tangent here, but well, like that being said, man, it's just, it's just freaking ridiculous. It's just, it's just ridiculous, you know. I can see you have, pa I can see, yeah, I understand you have passions for the game, and whatnot, and being said, but it's just scrubby. Why are you playing? People, even pro players, I mean tournament players, admit they don't even like Street Fighter Four. They just play it for the money, you know what I'm saying? So, and they go top tier and be a bandwagon bitch just to win money. So. Because, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, you playing characters that you like to play, you don't like to play top tier, you're not going to win the tournament. You know what I'm saying? I Like, give me one, one, one tournament that a T-Hawk won. I'll wait. One tournament that uh, a guy player won Street Fighter 4. Uh, one tournament that, uh, let's see, a Dudley player won a tournament. Or a Makoto. Exactly. So you you like for these tournaments you have to go top tier. But in other cases like you know games like Tekken, which is one probably one of the balanced games out there, uh you you don't have to go for that, you know. You could just you could just win with any character because every character in the game, in the game can do, you know, the same thing. As in, you know, prominent mechanics and whatnot. So like like I said, you know, and my other problems with the fighting game community is there's a lot of favoritism, a lot of favoritism, and and I I saw that firsthand when I got back into, you know, seeing things that you know come about myself instead of watching streams all the time. Going to tournaments recently, I went to CEO last year, and um, yeah, I, I I felt a lot of favoritism going on. <clears throat> Especially with the brackets. But, yo, yeah, let's talk about the brackets. Now, especially this year's final round, because, uh, you know, my brother, well, he's actually my guy brother on martial law, he was telling me about the brackets and how they randomize it with zip codes. They do that. Don't get me wrong. They do that. But then again, they switch them. Like, for an example, let's say, uh... Like, if Justin Wong and Ricky Ortiz in the same brackets and pools, they'll switch them out. Because they're notable players and they want to see those players in the finals or top eight or whatever. You know, there's some favoritisms uh, that the tournament organizers had. And I saw that in CEO 2012. I saw that, you know, in, you know, Power Up 2011. And uh, also other tournaments and in, in that nature, you know. And there are some people that don't show favoritism. They randomize it. Whoever, whoever fights, whoever fights. But yeah, but most of the time, tournament organizers show uh, favoritism. And given notable players like, you know, Justin Wong, Chris G, and Filipino Champ, easy brackets of people that don't know what they're doing, instead of them making them sweat. Make them sweat in the freaking pools. Okay, you know, you got freaking normal people that's not known, the underdogs, 
getting hard brackets where you have they have to face Daigo and Mago in the same freaking pool. So that that's somewhat, you know, a little unfair. But I can understand that, you know, putting Justin Wong and Ricky Ortiz in the same bracket as you switch them out because they're on the same sponsor team. I can understand that. But Filipino champ or Justin Wong or, you know, Filipino champ and Chris G, they're not on the same team. So why will you switch them in, into a different pool just because they're known players throughout, you know, in this, you know, generation of fighting games we have now? Um... Why would you do that? That that's one thing that kind of pissed me off. If I was a tournament organizer, y'all probably wouldn't like like me. <laughs> I'll probably try to get rid of freaking uh just to walk in the first round in pools. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause y'all need to make these pro these tournament players these normal players sweat, man. For real, man, cause it's, it's really getting too obvious. Um. And people are starting to see that, um, but you know they just they just brush it off. They just try their best to beat them, and they get scared because they're notable players, and they just get all starstruck and all that. And especially when they face Justin, and you know, you know, I, I, you know, it's crazy, man. I mean, anybody could be beaten, you know. They're not invincible, so. That that's just my take on that, and you know they want somebody to get eliminated, like Daigo, and you know all that. I saw that CEO last year. They wanted Daigo eliminated, and he he didn't really care because you know Daigo already proved himself to be the best, one of the best. You know he was having fun with the tournament. You know it's, it's just like I already did my part and paid my dues into this community at home in Japan and probably in America. So it wasn't a big deal to him. I mean it was just but but uh USA made it a big deal with the USA USA chance. And y'all stop that man. Y'all sound y'all sound ignorant as hell doing that shit. Stop that. Okay? Stop it. I don't you don't hear Korea say Korea Korea or Japan say Japan Japan yeah 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 you don't hear all that gosh show some freaking respect like Cat Williams says America is some bullies but yeah like I said man you know fighting game commu community is gonna have to change and grow into this entity where it could be big like being on a, like television and whatnot, or ESPN as highlights, showing highlights of players that's doing good in the freaking tournament, you know, and it it has to it has to get you know big it's somewhere. It has to have invested in a lot of money involved, and um, and all this favoritism stuff after freaking stop man because if we keep seeing the same people doing this over and over and over and winning tournaments it, like it, it gets boring it really gets boring you know I know MLG esports is is going to that level where it's going to be on TV you know but you know the fighting game community is all about rawness you having fun talking junk and you know, all this good stuff and having fun. You know, just playing simple. And like in MLG and esports, you can't do that. And there's like a, a you know, under, uh, not a understanding of how things work between those two. And that's why we can't really get together. I'm honestly on the FGC side. You know, I like things to be authentic. And, you know, the I'm, that's the environment I'm used to pretty much. Because, you know, I was a little kid, seven years old. And freaking beating people twice my age, they still talk junk to me. And like, there was the old times, like back then, I was a sore loser. I did not like losing. And um, I'm just used to that environment because going to tournaments with you know with my cousins and my friends, you know, back home, it's just like I need that energy to feel, you know, with the games that I'm gonna play you against. It you at it they're gonna talk junk right back at you when I win I don't never like never talk junk to people 
before the match even starts. That's what some people mess up at. Don't ever do that. Don't ever talk junk to a person and the match hasn't even even started yet. Talk junk when you win the match. Okay? When you when you win the match, talk junk. You know, talk smack, man. But yeah, um that being said, you know, the FGC, like I said, the FGC has to grow. Has to grow, get this big, but we gotta stop all this habits where Oh yes, uh, yeah, if we gonna have Justin Wong and Filipino champ Chris G on the face. let me let me give you an example. Like let me read this event hubs right quick. One of the biggest tournaments of two two thousand three has kicked off. Final round sixteen is now underway. Notable players in attendance including Infiltration, K Cafe I D Pungo, Zian, Chris G, Justin Wong, EMP IFC Yipes, EGPR Balrog, Ricky Ortiz and uh, Filipino champion, many, many more. So, you know the reason why I read that, right? Because all of the players are Street Fighter players. That's exactly what I'm talking about. On Marvel, you know, they, they don't say nothing about, you know, players like Tekken or KOF 13 or Melty Blood or Guilty Gear or Dog Stalkers. Um, that's just, you know, recently, you know, coming out of the woodwork. Um, yeah, I play Dog Stalkers over Street Fighter 4 any day because it's an honest game. Street Fighter 4 is not honest to me. Marvel 3 is not honest to me. Tekken is. KOF 13 is. But they don't get hardly no recognition. They don't want to sit down. People don't, just don't want to sit down and learn the game. They just don't. They want something easy, ready, and done. Just like a fast food restaurant. And they're going to get fat doing it and playing it. So, you know, that being said, you know, I'm not trying to sound like, you know, an elitist or anything because I play, you know, all games, you know. And I, if I don't like them, I don't like them. If I like them, I like them. I keep playing it. If I don't like it, you know, and I'm not going to play it for money either. I don't care if there's $50,000 on the line for freaking Street Fighter 4 I am not playing it if I don't feel like I don't like the game I'm not gonna play it at all and that, that's why I haven't done I haven't been playing I haven't played AE Street Fighter 4 in general like since two years ago really but you know you know that being said man it's just not my cup of tea man <laughs> Is of course cross tekken Don't get me started on cross tekken It's a little better with the update, but it's still ass. It's a new ass. Okay, it's a new ass. So man, with that being said, you know this favoritism has to stop. Oh yeah, or or even Mortal Kombat. They don't even say even though Mortal Kombat Nine is a bad game, and um, you know you got this new injustice coming out. Uh, next month and let's see how that is you know because Filipino champ he hyped up how Capcom fighters is gonna play Justice against the MK you know community and stuff that was a good move I, I give him that cuz he was talking smack about it but I know what he's trying to do he's trying to hype up the, the game and cuz I feel that he's going to you know I'm glad that Filipino champ is going to a you know new game uh, besides Marvel, because he played Marvel most of the time, he does play Street Fighter Four. But yeah, that that's good. I wish they could, like, know these notable Street Fighter Capcom players could do that for KOF and and Tekken. But then again, at the end of the day, we don't need them. You know what I'm saying? Because we got notable players there. It's just not they're not really mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's like it's, they make it seem like if you don't play Street Fighter. Or a Marvel, you're irrelevant. You're irrelevant, and that and that's that's an elitist way. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That need to be addressed within the community. Because I was watching this video yesterday of they had a panel with Goontex, Alex Jabaley, Alex Vai, James Chen, Spooky, uh, Mark Man at uh, Pax East, East, and nobody didn't didn't really ask that question about. 
you know, what I'm telling you now about the favoritism and all this crap with the brackets, with the players, and, you know, it is so, it's so much dick riding. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but that, that's, that's how people are, man. That's how people are, you know. There are sheeps in the fighting game community, too. There are followers, so... But, yeah, I, I just be my own man and do what I have to do. And, yes, I will be going to tournaments this year. Um, don't know what, which, but I'm deciding. But, um, yeah, I, I had to get that off my chest, man, because that's just... They need to stop this, man. Like, I'm... It, <laughs> if you don't know this by now, you a fool. If you don't know this by now, what's going on with the... Because, you know, Capcom fighters are the flagship of the fighting game community when it comes down to tournaments. You know, what I just read for Final Round today that's going on right now as I'm watching this, this Tekken stream could pretty much tell you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I can pretty much tell you. Like, there's not one time they, they you know, said, well, we're going to have NYC Fab and Fighting GM at this tournament for Tekken, or we're not going to have Reynolds or uh, Romance for KOF 13. It's always about, you know, Capcom fighters and uh, Street Fighter players like Justin Wong getting get mentioned. On the freaking news, on the Vit Scrubs and SRK. So yeah, that being said, <clears throat> it's crazy. But yeah, um, another topic about things, you know, about stuff around this world, you know, and you know, it's it's a corrupt country that we live in today. The freaking governments, um, about uh, food poisoning. Wars, oil, all of that. It, 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 it's just really crazy. And if y'all sheeps out there, y'all getting distracted and about all this other mess that y'all see on TV, I tell you right now, the truth is not televised. The good, the bad, or the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Because they want you to be, they want you to be programmed. They They want you to be you know, out of the loop. You people need to wash your brain. Okay? I hardly watch TV. I hardly do. If I do watch TV, it'll probably mon be Monday Night Raw because I want to see what's going on in the, you know, WWE Raw. I mean, because I, I'm a big wrestling fan, but I don't even watch wrestling nowadays. It's just gotten stupid now. It's like a soap opera now. It's not, it's not fun anymore. We're back in the Attitude Era and back... In the 80s, where you know wrestling was wrestling, it's 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 more about the little kids, you know. It, it's PG and you know, but I watch it sometimes, not all the time, you know. Uh, that that's you know, you know, especially. Let me get to into television. You got some stupid ass television shows that comes on. And news channels that don't televise the truth of what's going on around this world, especially in this country in America, and you know that that kind of pisses me off. And I, you know, it just uh, there's there's some stuff that's educational, but you know, people, especially white folks, they like to mix shit. They like to like put in their own words and. And you know, say what is true to them, and it's not really the facts. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not even the facts, and they just put it in their own words. It's not the truth at all. It's all lies. And you know, it's just it's just stupid. Like like I said, I don't even watch TV like that no more. They need to stop with all this freaking uh, making black people look bad by these freaking housewives shows and basketball wives and love and hip hop and all this crap the game man bump the game bump bump the game man I know they're coming out with a new season but man bump that man I know I used to watch the game 
but when they went when they convert over to BET, man, they messed it up. They messed it up big time. They they really messed it up. You know, it just it's just BS now. You know what I'm saying? Sports got boring. I don't even watch sports like that. If I do watch sports, I watch basketball. But I don't even watch sports like that. Um you know, T V shows like, you know, black stereotypes, like this T V show scandal. Like, man, bump that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I said on Facebook and some of y'all pre some of y'all probably uh seen this. Um I said about Kerry Washington. Well, I said about Halle Berry too, because you know you know Halle Berry is the black Jezebel of the entertainment industry. Kerry what I said <laughs> Halle Berry passed the torch to Kerry Washington of the Black Jezebel because of that T V show freaking scandal and uh 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 you know, all the movies she played in with the stereotypical black woman who, you know, wants to like go after married men, white men and all that crap, man, bump that crap, man. This foolishness. Freaking foolishness. I mean, they don't have nothing better to do. It's like, you know, you never going to see, you know, black people having a good family life with a father and a mother and children. You're never going to see the Cosby's type of shows. You're never going to see like a Cosby type show. You're never going to see it. Never, not in this time. You're never going to see that again. <laughs> so, uh, why are they showing Cora's eyes? Y'all stupid. I'm talking about this Tekken Tad 2 stream on Fire Run. But here you are. You're never going to see that. You know, you always gonna see something negative. You always gonna see some, you know, black people in reality TV shows in a negative light. Oh yeah, about reality TV shows, it's getting freaking ridiculous now. It's getting really ridiculous, and it's it's like that's that's the new thing now. Reality TV shows. I mean, MTV don't even show music videos anymore. This should be called RTV, reality TV. Okay. What they show music videos at three o'clock in the morning, man. Bump that, man. TRL don't even come on no more. It's all they show is for reality TV shows and all that, and it it's just ridiculous. They need to put a stop to that, which they're not because it uh caters to the masses of the ignorance. So they're gonna keep on doing it. It, it was funny because you know I was it was funny at first with the flavor of love bull crap. But back then I was ignorant. Um, now, now things I look uh, different of you know stuff in the world now. Things that that open my eyes and see what is going on and how what they're trying to do in a subliminal way, what they're trying to portray is it, not a good thing, especially for these reality shows that. Even though it's all about entertainment, but then again, you got to look at it as, hey, what are they trying to say, you know? <sighs> but, can't even get my words right. I need a drink. I need some drink. Freaking stupid. Freaking stupid. <sighs> oh, yeah. And another thing. Movies, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I dare somebody to ask me to, to, to see a Tyler Perry movie. I dare you to ask me that. I will cuss you out. Man or female, I, I, it don't even matter. I, I dare you. I'm never supporting this freaking movie. It's just the same black stereotypical, oh, well, I forgot your uh, anniversary, baby. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to at all. And then the woman on the freaking movie 
gets mad at him and he cheats on him for forgetting his birthday or anniversary or whatever man man get the heck out of here man I'm, I'm just saying it as an example that's pretty much Tyler Perry's movies in a nutshell I liked his plays I liked his plays and that freaking you know cross dressing crap that's another thing I want to t touch on it's another thing I want to touch on now it was funny to me you know when I was younger as a little kid looking at you know Martin Lawrence playing Shanae and Jamie Foxx Wanda Flip Wilson dressing as a woman Robin Williams he did it and Mrs. Doubtfire uh, uh, Damien Wayans as a gay dude but I see what they trying to do here when they doing all that like comedians Eddie Murphy with Norbit uh, you know, like Martin Lawrence again with Bit Ma Mama's House uh, Nutty Professor with Eddie Murphy once again and I, just, and I see what they trying to do they trying to like emasculate you know men out there to do feminine stuff and that's not cool man it's it's a subliminal way to insult the lack of intelligence and the lack of masculinity masculinity of the man and put and makes him put on a dress or make wears, make him wear his makeup or something like that or do some gay shit you know, I ain't with all that, man. And Tyler Perry ruined it for me because he opened my eyes on what Hollywood is trying to really do. Like, dude, Hollywood is not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like Paul Mooney said, Hollywood is a dangerous place. <laughs> but he's telling the truth, man. Like I said, man, there's a lot of stuff you have to give in and do and sacrifice and sell, sell your soul. And I'm, I'm not with all that. And that's why I'm going to touch upon you know, the entertainment industry and the music industry. Bump a record deal. Okay. Bump it. You can make it out here on your own, man, because that's what I'm going to try to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, and I'm going to do it with this uh, UVGM, this Universal Video Game Musicians, making us as independents. And we're we going to make this money. But, yeah, I'll, I'll touch upon that in, in, the later vi in the later video. But yeah, like I said about Tyler Perry, man. Bump him. He always getting money off of blacks, especially black women's insecurities. And, you know, put put him in the pedestal. You know, put, put in black women in the pe pedestal. You know, and making the brothers, the black men, always in a negative light of what they do being drunk abusive and all that you know there is something there's some men that like that in this world you know what I'm saying but in a way they're trying to make it seem like that's us all the time you know it's, it's very stereotypical um, what he's trying to do and you know I, I don't like that how he's you know he's really pimping out here you know what I'm saying he, he's really pimping off of, you know, especially women's insecurities. And it's ridiculous. Now, I'll, n I'll never go see his movies again. His plays were all right, but when he got into the big leads and mainstream, he making the same movies all over again. When I saw that new preview of that Temptations movie, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. I dare somebody to call me and ask me to see a Tyler Perry movie. I dare you. Watch you go get cussed out. Like I don't like Tyler Perry. Bump Tyler Perry. <clears throat> but yeah, music industry. Like I said, man, ain't worth it. Selling your soul over some money, man. Cause at the end of the time, where where you gonna when you die? You're not gonna take that money with you. I mean, you can leave it for a great cause, but it's nothing to, you know, do, you know, these crazy things with the freaking hand symbols and all that, with the pyramid and all that. And you got freaking sheeps out here that do that at a Jay-Z concert. And they don't even know what that is. They don't even know the Illuminati symbol. You know, I'm not going to really get into that, like, all the way through. Because, 
y'all can look that up for yourselves. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's 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 this is not great, man. Cause you know a lot of rappers and singers, you know they know about this stuff. And when you get like big time record deal, you making a lot of money and stuff. You have to sell your soul for it on making sacrifices of people that are close to you, you know, people that you love or your family. You know, it, it's just not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, make it make it your own way. Make it on your own way. You know. I mean, it's, it's going to take some dedication and hard work and consistency and faith, which that's with me. I'm having, you know, trouble right now. Well, I'm just getting started, you know, so because I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this UVGM stuff because I really want to take it to newer heights. And there's going to be some changes with UVGM uh, over the summer. Um... But that I'll get to that in, in later videos on the channel. But like I said, man, it, it's just ridiculous. Most rappers talk about stuff they don't really talk about, you know. Like, they being somebody that they're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're gangsters. They ain't freaking gangsters. Rick Ross ain't no gangster. He, he went by... And named after another dude. What kind of fruity shit is that? Free Ray Rick Ross. That's who he's named after. Man. That's that's just crazy, man. You could have named yourself uh Big Stomach or something. <laughs> you couldn't name yourself that you wanna name yourself Rick Ross? You know, a real person that's in a gang? A gang leader? I stand corrected on that, by the way. But yeah, um, you know, it, it's just ridiculous. And Drake, man, oh my gosh, Drake, I don't know what you become, man. You used to talk about real things before you became mainstream. And dude, you use a fruitcake, dude. You fruity, man. Fruity. Man, bump bump Drake nowadays, man. He try to act all gangster and hard and all this, man. And you know, he just he just ain't. He, he's whack as hell. He's whack as hell. Oh wow, nice combo. Anyway, <laughs> I'm over here watching this stream, man. And this fist no star uh, video is taking forever. Hopefully I have this done by tomorrow. But yeah, I'm I'm getting off subject. Um it's just not you, Drake, man. I can't stand when he sings. He ain't talking about he started from the bottom, now we here. Dude, you started from the top. You had rich parents, you was on the grassy, and you trying to say you started from the bottom? Man, shut up. You Jewish, shut the hell up. Shut up. He ain't started from no bottom. Now, I don't even know what you're talking about, really. You talking about you started from the bottom. Do you like it from the bottom or the top with your homosexual ass? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, he, uh, he in love with Trey Songs. You know that, right? But yeah, enough about Drake. But yeah, like, the point of the matter is about this music industry. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Especially, yeah, I want to talk about, you know, how... And I'm glad, you know, there's people like Lupe Fiasco speaking the truth about this whole music thing. Because, you know, he, he's doing his last album um, for the, uh, for the ma major label. And he's going to go to indie. He's going to go to underground music. But that's the best choice. if you, Because if, hip-hop, especially, you know, in rap, in mainstream, you got people wearing skirts and all that. 
and especially in, in their model fashion shows. I'm like, what what the heck is this? And quilts. We're not in Scotland. See, they try to make this freaking country roam Europe. Okay, especially with of culture of music that black people came up with. That's not cool, man. I saw Snoop Dogg with freaking a skirt on, man. Snoop Dogg lost some respect for me. Snoop Lion, whatever you want to call himself. He lost my respect, man. I mean, he's the dog father and all, but you can't... Nah, man. Nah. You, you can't be doing that, man. And he wearing freaking French chip tip nails. I'm like, dude, what the heck? Is that ain't cool, man. That's not That's not masculine. What is up with these dudes, man? And and people like a ASAP Rocky, whatever his name is, wearing the dress. What the heck is going on, people? This ain't hip hop, man. This is gay. I ain't with all that, man. I ain't with all that gay stuff. I mean, I don't have no problem with gay people, you know. You know, I mean, that's that's y'all business. Uh, gay marriages, I don't really care for that. But I'm all about uh rights but I'm not subscribing to you know people that you know it's alright to be gay you know that that's that's just not my thing cause you know I feel that people that are gay are mentally disoriented and that they just didn't find the way to like say you know hey or they you know they were just born that way but it took I I said because you know I I talked to this to my to my father, and he was saying pe some people are born gay. And it took me a minute to like because I didn't believe that mess. It took me a minute, you know, because you know I ain't gonna lie, man. I have some fam people in my family are gay. I'm pretty sure you have people in your family that is gay. You know what I'm saying? But you know. No, I'm. A, I don't have no problem with it, cause I can say as a heterosexual male that you know I will feel comfortable, you know, talking to a gay dude if he don't rub me off the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not with all that gay stuff. You know, that that's just not my thing. But yeah, back to the this this whole music thing. It's just, you know, they have homosexual, but homosexuality rituals and all that, and that's not cool. Um, just, just, just stupid, man. Where has hip hop gone to? Rap music, you know what I'm saying? Ain't in pop music, you know what I'm saying? R&B, you know, you know, it's just not. It, everything sound the same now, you know. And I'm glad, you know, uh, was this album I picked up. Well, this album I listened to, I let my friend, I borrowed it from my friend, uh, Justin Timberlake's new album with, uh, he got a cold new album. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a great album. It it stands out from the rest of the stuff that I've been listening to. And he brought back this Afrocentric type music. You know what I'm saying? He worked with Timberland once again. And I'm just like, I'm really impressed with that. We need We need more music like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but you know you can always go to the underground field and look that up. But on mainstream, you probably ain't gonna get that much. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this this whole stuff need to stop. This this gay stuff and hip hop and everything and gangsters and rappers talking about sucking dick and man that <laughs> I don't know what has what what's going on. This world is freaking crazy. Especially in this country. <laughs> it, it's really crazy right now, man. It, it really is. Uh, and y'all think that's cool? Wearing skinny jeans and all that crap, man? <sighs> Whatever. Y'all, I could be a sheep and all, if y'all want to, but I ain't doing it. I'm going to do my own style. Master Boris style. You dig? It's just dumb, man. But, um, 
you know what I'm saying I've been on this freaking YouTube thing been active uploading on YouTube for eight years now and I must say that there was a lot of videos I got a lot of views for on this channel and I'm stuck on a thousand subscribers for four years now four or three years now recently got my channel unblocked because I had copyright strikes for telling the truth about Capcom but we're not gonna get into that um in a way I do like myself being underrated because I don't have to worry about you know have to keep up with the fans because a lot of fans talking on my channel and all that and just just being bothered every day on about that I, I do I do have that in UVGM but I don't consider myself just only myself for UVGM I consider people's videos you know in UVGM them you know what I'm saying it's, it's a music team production and that's what I'm going to make and I don't consider UVGM just me I consider UVGM as Maxi the Man, Carl U, Raisin Man Mario A9, Virix, Ma Magic Music, McKnight, TW, Shellshock, and all those other people, Joey Clarice, and all those other people in there, in that channel. Yeah, and, and that channel doing better than than mine. My my the UVGM channel got like a thousand subscribers in like eight months, and this channel just steals a thousand. You know, I should be like fifty thousand by now. To be honest with you, and that would mo motivate me more to do more high quality videos. You know what I'm saying? And I just hate doing videos that I put my time and effort into and nobody watches it. That's why I don't. That's why I make rambling videos. That's why I do gameplay videos. I just got a capture card, you know, recently. So y'all now seeing, you know, high quality 1080p videos instead of me recording in the DVD recorder. You know, I just now, you know, got that. So y'all can see. And I also have a camera that I'm going to be using on my vlogs and when I travel around the world and also going to these tournaments because, you know, there's there's some things I want to do in my life, you know, dancing, uh, choreography and you know fashion modeling I'm about to get back into that and fighting game tournaments and you know just traveling around the world just cause I want to want to travel again so with that being said but yeah I, I in a way I like myself being underrated and then again I don't because I did get a lot of views on my Mugen videos when I first started on this channel because I don't count my first channel. My first channel, uh, I was uploading f uh, fights and different anime fights from Dragon Ball Z to Yu Hakusho to Warren, War <laughs> Ronin Warriors and all that and that got deleted for copyright. But uh, this channel is my official channel of m videos that I do that I made on myself for myself my original videos and gameplays and playthroughs and all that and just in a way you know in a way I like being underrated but then again I don't because I feel I deserve more views than this I feel I deserve you know in a, in a way it will motivate me to give y'all better content because you watch my videos a lot like if I was getting like a thousand views every day every video I put up you you would get that constantly that will motivate me to do like do better every single time but now I'm just gonna give y'all just regular playthroughs and me talking and me slaying like slurs and jokes you know I do that sometimes I like to be funny and then again I like to be serious too well, most of the time I'm, fun, I'm uh, like acting so goofy, but yeah, um, cause you know there's a lot of YouTubers out there, like it, 
YouTube has really gotten Hollywood over the years. Ever since they pop partnered with Google, it's just if you ain't, you know, seems like now if you ain't Ray William Johnson or Fred or people that are not freaking talented or any way, you know, or if you like some white dude just to like making doing stupid videos like doing stunts and hurting yourself or you're a girl that does twerk videos and you have a pretty face then you're not going to get any views God, you're not I'm not saying you know I'm you know bitter or you know jealous or anything it's just because there's a lot of a lot of talent around here and doesn't get enough recognition um because most of the youtubers that you know on the front page you know they don't they don't be real with it you know they like to scream and holler they don't do it naturally to be funny you know what i'm saying it just like i ain't gonna lie to you man i, I know the dude means well uh day storm but i just find him corny I just find him real corny. I do. I just I just find him corny. You, you know, and uh uh who else? X Jaws. Man, them man, th that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, like you know, I like watching videos like <laughs> Hodge Twins and Mario War Negro, but his his stuff is starting to get a little gimmicky. In, in, in the way because he do the same stuff with the a black guy trolling on blah, uh, Call of Duty games it started to get a little old he need to do something else but yeah I like you know Hot Damn I Rock I watch that and, you know Jerry Levine Jr. Uh, my dude Rex Soprano he Rex Soprano like he's like me he don't really have much he don't have much views on his videos but he still does it because he likes doing it I like I like to do make videos on my own time and that you know that's why you know I like myself being like underrated then again I don't because I would like some feed some major feedback at times you know to see where I'm at you know cuz I like to entertain people I like to do all that so yeah, you know, I like watching, you know, uh, Cross Counter TV. And, and yes, they they deserve the subscribers and views that they have because they're talking about the fighting game community. It's like an ESPN of the fighting game community, and they talk about it. And they talk about tournaments coming up and interviewing people throughout Skype and all that. That, that deserves it. You know, that deserves a lot of views and subscribers. And they got probably about 66,000 subscribers. But yeah, like, things like girls twerking in a freaking video and they looking pretty and they showing their titties and cleavage and all that. And, you know, makeup, that corny stuff. They doing freaking makeup and Fred. And Ray William Johnson and all that crap, man. I don't need no views. They don't need none. But yeah, man, I, I'm fine with it now. I just wish that I had more subs. I'm not. I'm not begging and saying, "Oh, subscribe to me." If you don't want to subscribe to me, you don't have to. I'm. Just, I'm still gonna do me. You know, I'm still like. Cause there were a lot of times, most of the time, I entertained myself putting videos out there. But as a bonus, I was entertaining other people like yourselves that's watching this video right now. But you know, a lot of people are not gonna watch this video anyway. Cause right now, you know, I'm just putting this up for whoever sees it, sees it. You know what I'm saying? I know there's like fans out there that been following this YouTube channel since day one is going to look at this or fans that are on my Facebook and Twitter are looking at this I need to get on Twitter more I need to get on Twitter more uh cuz I ain't been really on it like that I've been on Facebook but I ain't really on that I am not getting tumblr if you see master Boris has a tumblr it's not me I hate tumblr with a passion I can't stand that site Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. 
I have a Facebook, I have a Twitter, I have a Daily Motion. Um, who else I have? YouTube, Masterboard A6X, Masterboard Show, uh, X Masterboard X, UVGM Universal v Video Game Musicians, UVGM Dynasty. Those channels are mine. Anybody else that you see are fakes. Okay, want to clear that out because that. But before, long time ago, there was a person that was trying to uh, uh, a troll, a bad troll at that was trying to impersonate me. Ain't that something? I'm not really that popular, and uh, people were trying to be impersonate me. That was funny to me. You know, I can see. You know, they like. They uh, impersonates, uh, you know, the most popular people on YouTube. But I'm not that popular. I'm not. I don't want to be. Then again, then again, I do in some degree. But I, you know, I appreciate it. You know, all the stuff, all the feedback, the ups and downs of this channel. Because I was a prick. I was a mean bad troll, man. I was very cocky. I was a cocky bat back then. Of the start of my freaking YouTube career or whatever. But yeah, I, you know, I appreciate it. Because there was a lot of character development. And in me, as I grew up. As, you know, me going to school and all that. And doing other stuff and things in life. You know, that was a major character development in me, and it just... I'm still an asshole. I'm still a dick. <laughs> hey, that's not going to change. I, I'm more of a dick. But, yeah. That that being said, and more things I want to touch upon is uh, relationships. And females, women, hoes, tricks, bricks. I don't care what you, what you call them. Sluts, slores. That sort of a nature. Yeah, that relationships. Relationships are dead. I won't say that. I'll say they on life support. <sighs> Cause you know, you know, ladies and the guys, man, they don't communicate. They don't know what it's all about. They think it's all about just sex and all that. That's not really, you know, relationships and love and all that. That's being a fuck buddy, okay? So, yeah, I want to talk about that. You know, I'm going to start with the ladies and the females, the women, because y'all are not innocent. Because to me, I'm going to tell you this right now. Women are hoes until proven otherwise. Just like you women say that guys are guilty until proven innocent. Okay? And, and you know you know it's the same how females become in America I'm not going to make this a black and white woman thing because all all groups all races colors of women are similar in the way in traits and tendencies and the things that they do so I'm not going to make it a black and white Hispanic situation even though you know you know, there's some most black women are undesirable or most Hispanic women are undesirable in freaking relationships or even putting a ring on the finger. So I'm not going to make this as a black woman issue. We already heard the story. I'm pretty sure y'all go to these freaking uh, blogs or whatever and YouTube channels like T Tommy Sotomayor, which I'll get to him in a minute. Because I got something for his ass. But, um, I'm going to make this American women issue because women are messed up nowadays now. Like, to like to be honest with you, <laughs> me, I, I ain't been messing with bitches, man. I haven't lately. I haven't because I don't feel the need to, you know what I'm saying? And and you know these guys out here where I can't where I live now, it's it's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. Women are stuck up, ratchet ass hoes 
and they think they're entitled to everything and they're materialistic they want some they some bandwagon bitches like I said if you don't know what bang bang wagon bitches is look at my channel but yeah it's just undesirable I don't feel the need to you know what I'm saying you know or getting pussy or whatever it's just I just don't want to be bothered right now because I'm focusing on myself right now I'm loving myself and I'm I'm more focused on building my empire dig master Boris don't play that you know what I'm saying especially when it comes down to relationships and so I'm very strict so much strict but anyway like I said they they becoming really undesirable American women are uh, how the things they do they say and act towards men and they do them dirty and, and, and this, this is crazy and the stuff that you know I've been through with the with the chicks that I've been with the broads I've been with in the past you know it it, it just you know it was just ridiculous but I had I really had you know one or two or three about two or three good relationships in my life one one chick she was the Hispanic Puerto Rican chick man I had mad fun with her it's just it was the relationship ended you know because she moved away you know what I'm saying and uh, and she was focusing on her career her modeling career and you know I was more focused on um, going to school <laughs> but yeah enough about that but like I was saying you know y'all need to stop this madness man because you know all this you know you choosing the wrong man and you don't take accountability for your actions you you don't check on the dude or whatever you uh, you attract the thugs, the ex-convicts, the bad boys, or what? Let me let me let me get into uh, this nice guy and bad boy situation, this persona, whatever. Both of those two, both those two, you know, stereotypical guys. They, they both have a deception in the in those. They both have a deception. Those meanings have a deception in them. The bad, nice guy, bad boy. The nice guy is usually a simp. And the bad boy is the one, you know, don't give a crap about you. But he gives you good sex. But he's not faithful. And he doesn't give a crap about you. He doesn't. But but you with him, and he does. He, and he's not a leader, which I'll get to the guys in a minute. But first, uh, you know, talking to the ladies, y'all need to straighten up because this whole feminism stuff, and I don't even take this fem feminism stuff seriously, because it's a hypocrisy in itself that they want equality. But all they really want is superiority against, you know, to men. And how, you know, you know, you know, most most feminists are lesbians and are, you know, butch looking gay ass women. And that's freaking sad that you gonna freaking, you know, take this BS and run with it. If you're a woman, you're a feminist, you a fool real talk and see and, l and let me get this straight and, and also I'm not I'm not blaming music or whatever or else but Beyonce she praised that whole feminist shit who run the world girls and all that and bills 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 you, you know that's just that's just another way to gas you know a uh, uh, ignorant, ignorant bitch head up that's another way and that's why I don't like Beyonce like that no more. Because she's with the cult. 
So, enough about her. Like I said, man, y'all need to do better because my opinion about women nowadays not so good because you know recently been a little checking some chicks out but some of them ain't shit you know what I'm saying it, 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 it just it, it just boggles my mind sometimes how women how terrible they can be and how you know ruthless they can be heartless they can be you know try to get like these bandwagon bitches man all they want to do is get somebody you know that it has some status has a lot of money that's a millionaire like these athletes or rappers or singers get pregnant by them or probably have these these guys wife them up then later on they getting divorced and she takes like half of his money with child support alimony whatever vagina money whatever and all that purposely and these women are playing y'all man like I said man all man I'm not saying all women do this but most of them do American women do because it don't make no sense they can do it because it benefits them from it the court system does and that's why I don't really like the court system the court system you know caters to the women and that's not right and you know marriage car uh, caters to the women it don't benefits men why should I get married if it don't benefit me you know what I'm saying you know as a little kid I'm not not get off subject because I'm really about to break this down as a little kid I always want wanted what my parents want and they're still married you know they, they still ride and die for each other each and every day and you know it is going to be some ups and downs and arguments and all of that but they stay they stay together man and you know as a little kid I always wanted what my parents had but now nowadays I don't even think so because this marriage is they use a marriage as a weapon as to get by as a lifestyle upgrade and women y'all wrong for that like come on like let's be real here I've never heard a woman in a long time say let's get married because I'm in love with you that's some bullshit women are not getting married because they love that dude they get married because they want a lifestyle upgrade and financial stability and financial security like give me a break that's a lie and that's all women do is lie they tell the biggest lies man y'all gonna have to stop with that that's 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 freaking crazy man I'm it, it's laughable because these women are getting too predictable for me number one you know number two you know cuz I have a friend got married to this chick cuz uh, um he's he's in college right now in California my friend because I was going to go to California with him and live in California. I kind of regret it because there's a lot of opportunities there. But I digress. But anyway, three years ago he married this chick. And now he's miserable. Now he's miserable. And, you know, you're freaking 23 years old. And you married a chick and had kids by her. And she's kicking your ass. she's needy and she's freaking <laughs> she's a, she thinks she's entitled to everything and she's using him and all that he be calling me and telling me all this stuff and I'm just like dude that was your choice man you shouldn't have got with her but he's a freaking he got sprung off her freaking cooch 
I'm like, man, like I said, man, I will get into men in a minute, but let me, let me just, uh, let this end off with the, you know, females right quick and subject at hand. But yeah, that, that's just ridiculous. And the women that are not cap taking accountability for, for your actions of choosing these men that are no good. Well, then again, you are what you attract. So you probably ain't shit anyway. Probably ain't shit anyway. And and let me get a touch on upon that women call themselves queens. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Mostly black women do this. And like I said, I wasn't really going to get into like uh you know, race and color thing, but most black women do this with this queen diva shit you're not a queen at all most of you don't even need to have that title in, in the first place in order for you to be a qu queen you have to have a king you have to have a man on your side anyway so most of you women are not and don't don't take this the wrong way, uh, ladies. I appreciate, I applaud you for the good women out there that's taking care of her man, you know, and and do right and being submissive towards their man. I, I applaud. I'm not talking about every single woman on earth. I'm talking about most of the women out here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm speaking in general these bitches and hoes and like I said I don't I don't negotiate with hoes man if you negotiate with hoes man you're a freak simp I don't I don't do that I don't play that I'm master boys you bow down to me okay I don't do that <clears throat> but yeah like I said man this got to stop. What the heck is that? Oh, Steve and Nina. Yep, watching the stream. But yeah, man. This is ridiculous out here. Like, women nowadays are becoming undesirable, man. And why should I you know please a woman's entitlement to everything that she wants and I don't even know the woman like that I don't even know this chick like that I ain't taking you to no expensive restaurant and I don't know you gonna have to work your way up you gonna have to work your way up that's the bottom line cause Master Boy said so you gonna have to work your way up and guys let these women work their way up and most of these women are cowards, man. They don't want to meet you halfway. They don't want to, like, help you out with things, you know, pay or go Dutch. You, you, you go Dutch, guys. You go Dutch. Let them work their way up. <clears throat> Let them work their way up, man. They ain't entitled to nothing. Last time I checked, this is a man's world. But yeah, women are so materialistic nowadays, it make no sense, man. And ever since, you, you know... I noticed something like I never really talked about you know women and relationships or love in general in any of my videos <laughs> what do I talk about the most video games <laughs> and other stuff but yeah th that's just it, it, it's just freaking crazy man and like I said guys I mean even though this might not solve your problem go to a foreign country go overseas because foreign women are so much better than American women get a passport and do that I'm right behind you American women are doomed 
because you got all this feminist BS, all this clubs and whatnot. Even though feminism is an international setup from the UK and other countries, like I said, this may not solve your problem of getting, you know, women. Because if you're not making, you know, out, you making outdated approaches towards women, and you try to get women, and you can't handle American women, then how are you going to uh, handle a foreign woman? Because, you know, there are some uh, foreign women out there or Americanized in the Western way of how things are here in America has rubbed off on them. You know what I'm saying? But there are some women that have traditional roles of being submissive to a man and doing what's right to do as a woman in womanhood. I can't teach women about womanhood because it's not even my place. It's not in our place. You know what I'm saying? All we can do as men is to guide them and be and lead them. You can't teach woman womanhood because we don't know ourselves. We're masculine. We're supposed to know about manhood. And I will be making more videos about that topic soon, thinking about it. But I don't know. But yeah, um, women, y'all, y'all gonna have to stop this, or y'all gonna be de undesirable. And when y'all get in y'all thirties and forties and being played out, cause you've been run by so many dudes and it don't make no sense, you gonna you gonna be singing a different tune. You wish you would have had a man, or you would want a simp, a nice guy, a save a hoe, Captain Save a hoe dude. A bandwagon bitch to one your needs and wants. Ain't nobody ain't gonna want you and you like dried up cooch and freaking ran by a lot of dudes while you was in your twenties acting stupid being a slut. Cause women cannot do what guys do. And that's another thing. I'm gonna get to the men in a minute because I'm mostly pissed off more on the men than the women and I'll explain why. Women, y'all can't do like men do. So stop trying. That's what that, that, y'all messed up now. And like I said about this feminism BS, y'all not y'all gonna have to get rid of that. Cause most of the women, y'all don't even know what y'all talking about half the time. Y'all really don't. Y'all really don't. But yeah, um, like I said, might do a video, might do more videos on the touch upon men and women, because how things are now, it's pretty terrible. Relationships and marriages on life support. We are the most, uh, we have the most divorces in the world. That's not good, people because of infidelity and sexual satisfactions to most women cheat that's not good <sighs> then again I don't want to be with women because I have trust issues I'll admit that because I never thought that you know I was special to, to you know, one chick. Cause nowadays, bitches have technology. Bitches have technology. They got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. Oh yeah, bump Instagram, dude. Bump Instagram. Bump that site. I don't want to see people using filters and and freaking all that stuff on food and cars and women. They're showing their ass getting trying to like getting thirsty dudes to comment on their p pictures and they being thirsty as well they freaking attention whore hoes bump that mess man bump instagram but yeah on, on subject I, I forgot why i was saying shoot see <laughs> see i get off subject off tan off tangent and 
forget what I be saying at times. But yeah, women, start taking accountability for your actions and, and do what's right because relationships is about reciprocating and, you know, what's best because for you and your partner, man, women, man and women, and y'all role is to not be masculine. That that's not attractive at at all. At least it's it's, it's not attractive. I never s hear a man saying masculine uh, women are attractive. Never heard that from any man. So stop it. So yeah. Like I said, women are hoes until proven otherwise. Heard by yours truly, Master Boris. Okay. Now, to the man. I'm mostly pissed off on the men on this subject about relationship and love and all that and, and try to like get women because of the simps and tricks out there and thirsty dudes out there that doing stupid stuff just to get females man just doing stupid stuff with in a in in a sense where most of these bitch ass dudes are not checking for these putting these women on in check letting them run all over you let them do what they want to do as cheating on you getting some side dick and you tolerating that or you tolerating disrespect from them that's has to stop you need to put power in your hand guys and stop simping and tricking on these women and flaunting your money like you little Wayne and say yeah I got some money I got some money yeah ho yeah you need to stop that. Because you know what women are going to do to you? They're going to use you for your money. And you go in there buying dinner and all that expensive dinner and all that. And you just dumb enough and goofy. And your goofy ass is worrying about all, all care about you just seeing the bitch. It shouldn't work that like that. It shouldn't work like that at all. What I'm saying is we're not as men, some of you men out there, we're not they're not doing our job. The men are not doing their job to lead these women and to guide them in the right place. All y'all want to do is get pussy. I mean, pussy is good, don't get me wrong. The cooch is good, don't get me wrong. Y'all keep putting that in the pedestal is what's wrong. I mean, me, I don't... I mean, I like sex. You know, but... It's not that important. You know? I... I mean, it's just... It's just what... It's just getting my dick in a water slide. It's pretty much what it is. Putting my dick in the water slide, putting my mushroom tip in the water slide, and the cooch. I mean, it's starting to get a little overrated, if you ask me. But it's great to do because it benefits your health. Not, you know, but don't be no tender dick or nothing like that, man. Guys. Because women, they will use you, they will give you some. They'll, they'll let you, you know, put your penis in her asshole. They do all that just to get by. And you dumb enough to let this girl get by. She's only using you so she can get a lifestyle upgrade. And you dumb enough to fall for it. It's a trap because these women will trap you. And you have to put up with that BS. 
and you are putting up with their BS. Y'all need to stop tolerating that, guys. Y'all really, man, because <laughs> all, to be honest with you, when I was younger, when I was a pre in my pre-teens, teenagers, I was a simp. I was. I was buying chick chicks gifts that didn't really care about me and I was freaking you know doing everything for that woman that chick that little girl to like me that young lady to like me but you got but that was that was in my preteen teenage years that was like my junior high school years but you got dudes out here that are grown ass men trying to simp and trick off of these hoes. Like I said, I don't negotiate with Master Boris don't negotiate with hoes. That's all there is to it. I'm not doing that. You gotta come correct, ladies. You gotta come correct. And guys, y'all need to cross examine these women when you are dating. And to be and myself personally and to be honest, I don't like dating. I really don't. It's really overrated. It's a waste of time. I don't like wasting my time. You know, especially, you know, if a woman wants to play games and all that crap and, you know, using you just to get a free dinner out of you. Like I said, go Dutch. Or let them meet you halfway. Okay? Just because the bitch is, you know, fine as hell as a dime. Don't mean they deserve a free dinner. And that's what most of you guys be doing. So what? Y'all better stop falling for that okie doke, man. Because most of these dimes are insecure and have low self-esteem. And they'll use their bodies just to get by. And that's the truth. Y'all think, you know, I'm a woman hater or bitter or whatever. Because you think, oh, someone broke my heart. Yeah, I got my heart broken plenty of times. And I've been in great relationships with females in the past. But I'm telling the truth on both sides. When it comes down to women and, and men in relationships. I'm trying to break it down as, as good as I can. But like I said, if y'all want me to do videos like this, uh, you know, about that subject and the matter, continue doing that, then I'll do it. But yeah, guys, we, we need to be leaders, not followers. Now, dudes wearing dresses and skirts and all that, like I was saying earlier about rap music about the music industry, entertainment industry, and comedy. Y'all need to stop that and stop sipping and tricking on these hoes, man. Some of them don't deserve it. Some of them ain't shit. I'm just speaking the truth, people. And stop putting pussy in the pedestal, man. For real. You you tripping off of one chick and there's billions of women in this world, dude. Makes no sense. Vagina ain't going nowhere. It's here to stay. So why are you tripping? Guys, simps, bitch niggas. Stop it. So there you have it. It's all a human relation issue. Man and women. We gotta get our stuff together. I know I am. But yeah, I'm gonna have to freaking uh wrap this video up, man. This video is too long. Like I said, this wasn't supposed to be a funny matter of video. This is one of a serious matter videos. Um, sure, I'll, I'll make part two, but I know nobody ain't gonna watch this video. I know I ain't gonna get no more views on it. 
So I'm just doing this to see whoever sees it, sees it. You know what I'm saying? I would like to give a shout out to my brother Jazz, aka Martial Law, Quadell, Spradley, holding it down that final round. Good luck tomorrow on your games. Uh, shout outs to you know, people in the fighting game community, IFC Yipes, Blood Red, Fighting GM, Fab, Adonis the God, the Coronation, Antoine Ortiz, um, Rodriguez Cook, one, one, number one fa uh, the, my number one fan as he claims to be, Juan Garcia, the whole UV Gym, DJ Carl U. TW, Shell, Shaka Maxi, the man, McKnight, Joey Clarice, uh, Sherry's, Magic Music, T Lopez, uh, Wizzy Whipping Wonderful, Mario A, all of y'all, pretty much. I ain't gonna say everybody. That's like 80 of uh, y'all. I have 80 members of UVGM. Um, who else? Also, Facebook pages I would like to give a shout out to, uh, Stop simping movement. That don't ever give up that that group, that community group, ever, because that's one of the realest groups on Facebook right now. I don't care what you say, Mr. Matthew jo Johnson. Shout outs to you, man. Keep at it. Keep at it. The good work. Teach these brothers. Teach these young brothers to stop simping and get that pimp game strong. <laughs> and also, um, oh yeah, I meant to talk about T Tommy Sotomayor. This, this, um, shout outs to him, man, because I want to touch upon what he was saying about black women. You know, I know the brother means well. I'm entertained by his videos. He's a really funny guy. I know he means well, but I have to get you on this one, dude. You talking about boycotting black women or women in general? Um, no, most no black women, just black women. Now, if that was the case, you need to boycott all women because women of all races or color, like I said, have similar traits or similar tendencies of doing stuff to men to get even like having a lot of sex you know and stuff like that if you want to boycott black women you gotta boycott all color of women that doesn't make no sense dude that doesn't make any sense <laughs> that doesn't what are you talking about black folks are the originals that would be messed up, dude. Like, think about it. You're not making any sense, man. I know there's some black women, most black women in America are undesirable as heck. They're unappreciated. They're ignorant. But come on, dude. Boycott black women? Nah, that's not going to work. Okay? Stop talking out of your ass. Damn, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> but anyway... No, dude. But yeah, shout outs to you anyway. Uh, Dark Valentine, 1984. Uh, shout outs to you. And for you to primarily, uh, for me to get back, well, not get back, actually. Because I was more influenced into Mugen of, of why I saw the evil Ryu and Ken Mugen video. And you was one of the main influences, one of the main influences that I want to get into Mugen and make Mugen videos. So shout outs to you. Shout outs to Ball22, Mugen Lord, uh, Akumetsu Lord. Shout outs to you, man. You've been, you been on my channel since day one, I think. Darky Dis. Shout outs to you, Mixer Productions. Shout outs to you, Ultra David. Shout outs to you. And we'll, uh, 
That's a lot of shouts, man. There's so many of y'all, man. If I forgot y'all, hey, I'm tired right now. This whole video I've been doing, I was just tired. So, um, hope you enjoy this video and take things that I say into consideration. Like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> hope y'all take my videos and this video into consideration. More material coming soon. Stay tuned, people. Uh, this is Master Boris 86 X, or just Master Boris. I rather you just call me that. And I'm out. Peace.